This is CW TFP Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside my high yellinella co-host, Chanel Shantae. What's good, baby? Hi. This is a different start. What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like you just jump into things differently any other time. So I was waiting for like, I thought I had like a second to sip my drink. Nah. I was waiting for the whole like We, we on. We, we, we live. Okay. We on. Hi, I'm here. I put my drink down. Yeah? Hi, How Charlie. you feeling? I missed you. I feel you. good. I know. I it's missed been, you too. It's been, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. Since you've been here. Cash has been like stealing my shine, so. Yeah, you know Cash, he's good at that. You know he what is. I mean? Shout out my man Cash. He couldn't be in the building today, but um, you know he's here in spirit. My man, like we we talked about last week, he just bought a crib, so the nigga's moving. Yes, he's moving yes. out of the city of sin, aka Lynn, <laughs> Massachusetts. How ironic! <laughs> How ironic! He's um, doing things I'm not doing, so kudos to him. Absolutely, and shout out to my man, my man Cash. We're gonna shout it out for him, but you know what time it is. This is episode 91. CWTFB Radio, always sponsored by Details Car Audio and Auto Detailing right on Route 138 in Canton, Mass. Run up in there for all your detailing needs, interior, exterior, waxes, clay waxes, car accessories, tr- motorcycle accessories, truck accessories, all of the above. My people will keep, keep you looking clean, fresh, lace, and all of that, man. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Um, y'all keep growing month over month over month over month. Shout out to our um, uh, Apple... Apple Podcasts is actually what we get heard the most on. Really? Um, yes, yes, yes. No, Apple Podcasts. So that um, sucks. Shout out to Apple Podcasts. Shout out to Spotify. They're next. And then iHeartRadio. And then after that, it's everybody else. Um, but shout out to everybody subscribing to us, man. Like, subscribe, turn them notifications on, man. And every time we drop on Mondays and Wednesdays, you will know, man. So um, we back with another, another week. You know what I mean? Chanel, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. That's how you usually start. Yeah, I mean, but you know, and like, then you, like it's all right. Jump, so, okay. It's okay. It kind of threw me off. You know I like I mean? consistency. Like, oh, okay. Excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> now I'm not consistent. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just saying it kind of like I I like structure, so okay. that kind of threw me I'm, off. But I mean, right. today's I'm, not a regular day though, so you guys can't start how you usually start. Mm. Yeah, he's right about that. He's right about that. <laughs> all right. But, but what's happy been happening in the last seven days that's been tickling your fancy? Ooh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, like what? Let's talk. A lot. Where do I? Ooh, seven days. Mm-hmm. This last seven days has been crazy. We did go to the Van Buren show. Oh, yeah. Let's start with that. that Let's shit start was, with the I, Van Buren yeah. show. Um, we went on Friday. That was amazing. It was. Now, this is the thing, right? So, like, you know, us as podcasters, we get invited to all types of shows. Right. And I, and I want to go to everyone. You know what I mean? But it's not too often that, a, a, not I was about to say Boston, but a mass artist sells out the Paradise Rock Club mm-hmm. on, on Calm Ave and they're headlining. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, when I think about Van Buren... They're like the modern day Wu Tang to me. Yeah, that's the vibe I got. These niggas is curators, they're rappers, producers, um, fucking fashion aficionados, yeah. and all of that. The vibe you know was, was crazy. Um, Ricky Felix, man, shout out to Ricky Felix, my nigga, bro. Seeing seeing you on stage, my guy, was a fucking pleasure, bro. Luke <laughs> Bars, um, you know, uh, Lord Felix. Um, I guess he, I think he just goes by Felix now, right? I believe. I um, you just Giles, put me on to them that day, so I'm not sure. You know, Giles. Yeah, you know, you shouldn't have said that out loud. But Why? I'm I'm here to be honest. <laughs> look, look. I just found out you said Van Buren show. I'm like, who? Right. I'm not gonna. I'm not about to sit up here don't and lie. Think the fuck. That's yeah, right. That's I'm. Right. That, I'm not with that. That's it don't. Right. It don't match my skin. I like that. But um. I was already sold. At right. first, I was like, who? I seen the picture. I'm like, who are these people? I heard it's it, so and I played them damn near every day now. So, I mean, that's important because they were, like, once I heard them, that was it. They were, right. they're, they're on my they top five got right it. now. Yeah, those, those they boys got it. Yeah. So, shout out to them. And I met some cool people in there. I actually met OG Swaggy Dick in, mm. for the first time. Uh, in person, <laughs> shout out OG Swaggy Dick. That's my nigga. The nigga with the coolest rap name ever, mm-hmm. nigga OG Swaggy Dick. Was that the one um, that had the glasses on? He had the uh, the gray fatigue joint on. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, his cousin Stiz was in the building. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out cousin Stiz, another hometown legend. 
hometown staple. Um, it was just really well put together. It was. They it, was tossing money in the yeah. in the um, audience. Yeah. So the you crowd know, was great. Ran into you know homie uh, you know Reem Scully. You know what I mean that yes. squad. That's gang. That's family. Yes. My nigga. Um, you know Body Rock. Dundilly opened up with Body Rock. Um, who else was there? There was so many people in there, man. It was all love. There. Slick Bay was in the building. I don't know if she performed um, with Bordy, but she was in the building. It was another. Um, I've seen a lot of people in there. there. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Me to. Center. Yes. <laughs> Sin from BNF Podcast. I Shout out BNF vibe. Podcast. Um, you know, even though D-Mal, you know, don't like me too much right now, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, Center was in there. <laughs> Shout out to them, man. I love what they do. You know, a lot of niggas, yo, like, I, I always team. throw it up for BNF because it's like, if it wasn't for BNF, a lot of niggas wouldn't be podcasting now, mm-hmm. to be honest. So shout out to that man. Shout out to their whole camp. Um, it was love in the building at, it at was. The Paradise. Uh, also smoke, yeah. I think I left with a contact, so. Yeah. You know, they took everybody's <laughs> lighters at the door, and I was like, how is niggas smoking in here? Their breath was like, probably that hot. That shit and was then, crazy. Yeah. Y'all niggas is crafty. Yeah, it was loud in there. Because yeah. I don't smoke, so, yeah. But great show, great yeah, yeah. show. My man Scoops was in there, too. Shout out to Scoops, man. Shout out to everybody, man. But um, but 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 other than that, man, what what else? What else you got that you wanted to talk about with the last seven days? days? Mercury is in retrograde. What does that mean? What does does that mean to you? So, how do I bring it to? All I know is that Mercury um is a car company that got um discontinued during the Obama bailout. It was a government bailout. (laughs) So Mercury dissolved along with Pontiac, Saturn, and a whole bunch of other GM companies. Goodbye. That's all I know about Mercury. It's not that. So, like, astrologers believe that um, when Mercury is in retrograde, like, the Earth, like, things move backwards. Okay. So that's, like, relationships Mm. and, you know, things within relationships. So, like, the Mm. past is just coming up and at you full force depending on where you are in your life. Like, if you didn't deal with it the last cycle of the mercury retrograde then maybe the next one around is like getting louder and so we're in retrograde until october 17th i mean do you believe in energies within the universe and the stars or are you just fucking plain jane like that like you look I'm, disgusted I'm, right now i'm, 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 I'm just <laughs> I, it's not that i'm disgusted i just i don't speak that language no i don't really know anything about mercury retrograde and all I know is that you smoke the wrong weed. I don't smoke weed any weed now. Okay, um, then smoke weed and then uh, tap into. <laughs> so you don't believe in none of that? Nah, my wife and I had some amazing sex this week. So I don't really. You talking about relationships taking back tracks? I don't know. We, wow. bust, we bust healthy nuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we can move on. What 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 you got? Because clearly my shit is like ah uh, <laughs> uh, my nigga Robert, Robert, Robert Ooh. Kelly, oh, R Kelly. Oh. Do you have your shots? Did you see that? <laughs> do you have? Do you want to come to America? <laughs> Yo, this thing. I, somebody posted an oh old video. God. He was like overseas doing a show. I seen it, and he goes, "It was horrible." I think you want to um, come to America with yeah, Robin? So stupid. <laughs> it was Stizzy Left Lane that posted it. And then the nigga goes, "Do you have your shots, <laughs> Robin? You were dead wrong, Robin, 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 Robin. You done fucked up, Robin. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Robin, you 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 got away with some shit that nigga shouldn't get away with, right? Mm-hmm. And then you continued to do it." Cause you're a piece of shit, um, and you just got found guilty on all nine charges of Damn, sexual nine. Tra- uh, sex trafficking and racketeering. Um, so you got what you deserve, Robert. Um, do you have your shots? <laughs> <laughs> if not, he's about no, to get them. <laughs> there's no vaccines for getting butt raped in jail, my guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to fuck you up, Robert. <laughs> Did uh, you see the memes where they was like, I'm ready. Like, seems like you ready. And he's, like, and he's all fucked <laughs> he's up He's all in the it. corner and all like, the, the inmates are surrounded. Yeah, Robert's going to get what he deserves. You know what I mean? Oh, man, uh, R. Kelly. As much as I loved the man's music. And I still love his music. I was I'm about to say, front. do you still play his music? I still like his music. I'm not going to say I still play it where it's like, <laughs> oh, yo, put that R. Kelly on, nigga. Like, <laughs> you know, that's not... But if it came up on the shuffle, I wouldn't turn it off. Yeah, I mean? me either. It's I wasn't that, the nigga yeah. to take it out of my library. Like, fuck this nigga, man. Yeah. Because, you know what I mean? 
it might have been some cryptic, fucked up shit at yeah. some point, but it's some music that did things for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's some music that moved us. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it moved you. you know? Did you play it this week with your wife? Nah. All right. <laughs> that's, that's just not going to get me in the mood, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Robin's my middle name, so it's like that too. Yeah, that's funny and weird, but um, the memes are hilarious. Head. Yeah, did you see the um interview with Azriel? What's her name? Azriel Clary with um Gail King about him in regards to so the first interview her and I forgot the other girl that did the interview with Gail was just like team r kelly like mm. nope you're not about to ask me these questions he didn't do any of that like he's a great guy oh, and yeah, so yeah. now right she yeah. just did another yeah. one with gail king where she was like yeah he coached us and yeah. you know we was pressured to do yeah. that like do I you think she was telling the her. truth okay i don't know you know my thing is when people say one side of the story and then they renege mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of hard for me to believe anything that they say now okay because it's like if, if you were going to testify um just stick to your story Right. If 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 it's the truth, say it. If it's not the truth, don't say nothing at all. You know what I mean? If, but it's R. Kelly. I feel you, but it's like, what do you have to gain from lying? You know what I'm saying? They were saying he was giving the families and the girls yeah, money. He ain't even got no more money. Okay, the nigga was broke. <laughs> do you have your shots? <laughs> <laughs> All that right. nigga has no I, I don't know yeah. yeah but I saw that interview And she reneged on what she initially said And it was I, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to believe So Yeah well enough about Robert Yes um, I want to talk about NY Governor Kathy Hochul Now first off <laughs> She got She she replaced Cuomo um, Now Cuomo was wilding out He was sexually harassing women or sexually um, assaulting women. I don't really know if that assault assault just sounds crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe it was harassment. I don't know. But he had to step down. He had to give up his um, long tenure as the governor of New York, the great state of New York, the Empire State. That and sucks. I loved fucking Andrew Cuomo. Not, obviously not the sexual shit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> if he was grabbing titties and shit like that, then, you know. Then, I like how you went from R. Kelly to that. You know what I'm saying? Ahead. Um whatever you know what i'm saying but they replaced him with some woman kathy hocho i guess that was his lieutenant governor mm -hmm. this woman went on tv and said what and was using god as a reason for everybody to get their vaccine no god wants you to get the vaccine no she didn't yo it's i didn't crazy. see Look it, it, up. it nor goes. am i really into politics and it's not really about politics at this point it's just more like what the fuck is wrong with you the whole I point see it. of of you know, America as a country was to keep the Constitution and the religion out of it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, yeah, you know, one nation under God and all of that, right? But you're not going to use God as a reason to, to try to politicize something. Um, and, and I thought it was crazy because we don't even know if she's a, re a religious person. <laughs> she might be lying. <laughs> she, and then, and then, and then they're bringing in the National Guard to go do the work of doctors and nurses because if these hospital workers are not vaccinated, they all got fired. I think effective like oh, yeah. two nights ago or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so me personally, like actually today, there was like a form due if I wanted to file for religious or medical exemption. Um, and I just returned to work, so I'm behind. Otherwise, I'm required to get the vaccine by the end of October. <laughs> Otherwise, again, yeah, I probably won't have a job. Um, How do you feel I believe about that? it. I feel two ways. All right. So on one side, I feel like I don't go into the office. I work from home, right. so I'm home. I'm not around none of y'all. Um, I'm not into vaccines like that. Like we don't get the flu shot in my house. Really? I got it when I was pregnant with Benjamin because like I folded under pressure. I can own that. I folded under pressure with Samara also. But other than that, you won't see on my record that I had a flu shot for like. Besides those two times a decade, do you plus. believe that if you if you got the vaccine, you'll rat? <laughs> <laughs> I know I sent you the so I sent. I've been seeing the memes. Yeah, you sent me. That. I sent you the meme because I know you got vaccinated, and it said you know if you you, if you got now? vaccinated, you a rat. Like you'll you snitch. I, you think you think I'm a rat? 
you something like nigga you folded wow i can't believe when you wow. said it like if you go back to the first or second episode when you said you got the vaccine my head could have spun because i'm like you all right how could you okay, what's your reason what's your reasons to not get it it's a lot so i'm trying to figure how i can sum this okay this is it's tough because we can go on i don't believe in putting some first of all against my own will but some foreign shit in my body that if it's not a hundred percent like if you can't tell me this is for sure and then show me proven facts why would i allow you to guinea pig me and use my body my whatever to try to do whatever you trying to, i don't got time for that i would leave my health as it is i eat good i like i'm fine without vaccine so why would i fuck that up mm. i don't believe in none of that shit my kids are not like samara got vaccinated at a certain age she hasn't been vac vaccinated for a while with other things benjamin too he's a healthy ass baby they're not they're good so why would i alter that so that's that side and then so back to my job on the other side it's like fire me please so i can collect unemployment and like what? dive into my businesses and my work that i really want to focus on that make me happy please okay. fire me because okay. i'm a bomb ass worker and i can't underperform and actually you know intentionally get fired right. so this is a reason to get fired and i just got to eat that and deal with it and then i can you know focus more on the pod and and punch pies punch pies pack with a punch so uh, yeah i feel different ways about it i don't know um I mean, I, for me, it's it's not about that. Ooh, bells, what? we got bells in the house. What'd she say? You gotta give her a shout out first shout before out you big even bells mention from a her. Big block. She said they are Good undeniably. I'm sorry. She said they are undeniably unsafe. Well, you you mean vaccines? Yes. Oh, vaccines are undeniably unsafe. All right. Anyway, look. This so is she pretty much is right? saying like she just. I know they're not your words. I'm not. They're not your words. We're, we're not so she's just words. reiterating that you're a rat and you're a snitch. I'm, that's I'm, it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> that, uh, that's all she's okay. trying to say. All right. She's just trying to let you know. <laughs> we're looking for a female co-host. Go ahead. Uh, the one that we have now <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put an ad out. You'll see it. Right. <laughs> no, but for real, the like, they feel me. It's just like, it's just you. Anybody else in here vaccinated? Nobody else. All right. So look, this you is the don't, way I yeah. look at it. This is the way I look we at it. might as well pack our shit up and this go because niggas about to come storming through that door. He was, done sent the drop. I was anti We need to leave right now. <laughs> I was anti vaccine for a very long time. Okay. And, and to be honest, if I wasn't married to somebody who was pressing me to take the vaccine, I wouldn't have taken it. So you fold it under pressure. I'm want, I want to keep my wife happy and give her some peace of mind. So That's you're. All right. So it's not folding under pressure. It's making an, <laughs> an executive decision. Don't right? you try right? to clean this shit right? up. If um, I could say, look, I folded under pressure when I got the flu shot, I own that. That was nah. like two years ago and then look, 2014. Now, if they're I could classify me, as a rat yes. then, I guess. If they're but I'm me, renewed and I'm so restored. I went, the, I went the rehab like I'm good, <laughs> like in the present day. But present day, he's... <laughs> if they're telling me, if they're telling me that... It's unsafe or whatever. Somebody's saying that it's undeniably unsafe, right? Mm -hmm. Like on the internet, whatever, right? I drink and I smoke. <laughs> you just don't give a fuck, What period, the fuck is going to happen to me? Like, so it depends. You know what I'm saying? Look. Like, I'm... What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> That's the lifestyle and mind frame that you have me. I feel like it's per person. Like, I do, like, daily cleanses sometimes. I'm into my body and how things work. Like, I'm not into... I like and Adderall. Then even the I don't. I barely drink. Y'all don't see me really drinking with y'all like that. I eat great. Yeah, I me don't too. smoke. I had a salad today. Smoke is my vaccine. It was and smoking is. I'm not against it. it. Baby, like <laughs> we, as long as you ain't smoking crack. Add some kale. <laughs> but the thing, look, Put some avocado and shit. That's not enough. Let's make it a little bit cranberries <laughs> in that bit. You, heard? you know what I'm saying? My thing is just like the control part too. It you, does suck. That's the part where I can't get past you trying to tell me what to do with my body. Yeah. That's it's never gonna work. That, that is part. very um that's very un American. Yeah, I don't like that part. I've seen Joe Rogan talk about that and I agreed with him. Mm -hmm. Whenever the government tries to mandate something that tells you that you have to do something that's very un American. 
the reason why America is even a country is because we didn't want to be controlled by a dictatorship. Yeah. So now that you're giving people ultimatums and you're you're challenging their their way of living and their and their livelihood, that's very un-American. So I want to see how this is going to play out. Me too, because it's scary. People are losing their businesses. Places yeah. that I've known, like the hen house, like shut down. People yeah. are shutting down. Yeah. That's the part where Shop I don't. The hen I don't house. Yeah, I don't like that. People are like people have families. People are losing their homes, their houses, properties, right. businesses. I'm just not with none of that over a fucking vaccine. Like it's fucked up. so, yeah, no, it's a no for me. You, you know, we, we've been talking for about 20 minutes now. Already, and and and, and I and I don't want to keep cutting into our guests. And there's other topics that I have, but we're gonna bring him in on, on the guess. topics yes. as well. Um, but today we have one of Massachusetts finest somebody who's been grinding for a while now um if you talk about lynn the city of sin it's, it's just so happens that cash is moving out of there um <laughs> but it's full circle because this is somebody that i've been seeing his name for years now you know what i mean right. even even back to the days when i used to rap and um one thing i can tell you about this 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 gentleman is that he's very consistent <laughs> right um and over the years he's perfected his craft He's done some songs with some big names, and he's carrying the city of Lynn on his back, man. So I need everybody and anybody to put your hands together. Give a round of applause to my man C. Wells. What's good, baby? What's the word, appreciate. my guy? Wells. Well, nah, I appreciate that. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's like shit that I've been fighting for. Like, But when you're doing that, you don't understand that people acknowledge that. So you get caught up in your own brain like, oh, damn, are people acknowledging all this shit that I'm doing? Yeah, I carry all this by myself, but do people notice that? But when you come to do shit like that and people are saying shit you already know, you're like, oh, that's dope. And I appreciate that. Absolutely, bro. I'm happy you're here, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We were talking about this in, like, what, uh, December? Right. <laughs> oh, wow. It's crazy how, like, you know, so it, 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 timing is everything. Right? Oh, yeah. Timing is everything, um, and, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, and actually, you know? when you said that in the conversation, I totally understood that. I'm like, word. I'm like, no my pressure. rollout ain't coming out at no time soon. When, right. they, when you ready, I'm ready. Like, right. Like, yeah. And, and you yet. understood that. And that's, yeah, that's real is. shit. You know what I mean? Some yeah. niggas be mad and be like, fuck this nigga chiz, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go crazy on nah. the fucking thumb thugging and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they you don't got like it. you. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Not everybody's going to like me, and I'm okay with that. And and that's kind of like a theme that you you have in your music too. That is scary that you know that. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? I've been paying that attention, is, bro. That is, that is scary that you, Yeah, no, nah, it definitely is because one thing that when people start rapping, they think that oh everyone's supposed to like them. Right. I kind of like had the spoiled brat mentality too first coming into it and then when I'm create this first mixtape or whatever and and one thing, one thing we weren't doing at the time was making hard copies. I went out my way and was doing hard copies, and I'm a freshman. What year was that? 2008, 2009. I'm like a freshman in high school. You was a and freshman in high school in 2008. Yeah, that's not too far. That's when we. That's when we. Does. we that's graduated. when we graduated. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, a, I'm like a freshman in high school. So like, I'm You're doing like 29, that. 28. I'm 28. I just okay. turned 28 in August. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. That's, but um, yeah, like I'm, I put, I did that, and like. People get older people, the seniors in high school, are getting their hold of the tape, throwing the shit out the window. This is trash, but like the average. But I went into it knowing that. I just wanted to show myself I knew how to do this. Right. Like, okay, mm-hmm. you know how to put words together. You know how to approach the mic. You know how to. That was all the training wheels. Once right. after I got the first tape out the way, it was like, okay. And then people hear criticism. Yeah, and then people hear criticism and then run away. My whole career was built off criticism. Mm. So, like, yeah, you like you said, I mentioned the hate. But, like, that's my favorite part of this. Right. Like, cause if I, yeah, because if I'm not getting that, I'm not getting better. If everyone's being a yes man, like, because I do what I do, he mentioned the features idle. and shit. Right. And everyone's like, yo, you're great. You're doing this. You're doing it. You're There's not helping no me. But if you're like... No, but if it's honest and that's really how you feel, cool. Right. But I know when someone is just saying it just to be a yes man. But if you like, nah, this is trash. You need to fix this. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I right, bet. Watch the next shit I do. Right. I and like that. that's how, I like, like that. you said, like that's really how the shit. Speaking of that, can we jump right into like 
uh, on one of your songs, what song was it? You were talking about you had like a back and forth with um Benzino. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Benzino you guys... said you was trash, bro. <laughs> I I'll explain how that happened. Right. That so, was the intro to before the tour bus. That oh, from oh, the oh. jump. I think that it, is I that. Think, the, oh, yeah. it was that's from the, the jump. Yes, yeah, because yeah, I actually. Jump, so all, yeah, I like the, the intro. Jump. Was the first song. Yeah, it was an intro I, of one of your joints. Yeah, so yeah. I bet. So I, <laughs> you know how? <laughs> yeah, I gotta hear this. You know shit. how your your parents tell you these stories? Cause my mom's from Dorchester. Like okay. she's she's from Boston. Like okay. I'm from Lynn, but like right. everyone sees the Lynn kid. But like my parents are so like I catch myself in Phil's corner, and right. I wonder why I relate to artists like smooth and shit. Right. But I'm not. Work, work, but I'm not understanding yeah. why. So, right. but when I'm having conversations with my mother and she's telling me I'm from here i this i'm like oh you just answered a lot of questions i had all right so answer me this is your mom zeno's age yes okay. she went to high school okay oh wow all right oh you, you think want, he knows want me that go that's your mom? my aunt my aunt dated him so my wow aunt, so that is my question here's where here's he where it happened it. right <clears throat> younger c wells wanted the thought he was cool on social media was wow. like um, I found out my aunt dated Benzino, and you know he got the fucking he has the you stigma that he has here. That yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I'm like, the fact that my aunt dated Benzino, and I put the trash emoji, but I thought nothing of it oh, when I did it. Wow, he must. I didn't realize he was one of those people that like he be paying attention. Pay, he Google, yeah. he Twitter searches his name. Yeah, he went and did that. Obviously, I knew when we was arguing, he had no fucking idea what I was talking about. Right, but. The fact that he engaged in an argument with me, everything that I was being told full surface. So I'm like, yo, he don't know what he's doing for me. This is going right, in a right, record. Right, right, like, right. This is like you, you, you making all this shit make sense for me. Like, right. but yeah, that's all that really was. It really wasn't no hard feeling shit. Plus, I know people that know him too. Right. So it was like, other than like my mother or my aunt dealing with him when she was younger. Right. So it was like, it's not no hobby. It's a rap shit. Okay. Like, so at least that's why I made it in my head. So you you ain't never had a conversation with him after that? Nah. That, and I'm at the time I'm like 19, 18. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm like was maybe like maybe 21, ago. maybe. Yeah, right. yeah I was, that was like some little nigga shit. But. That's funny. That was on yeah. a great song though, from the jump. Yeah, jumping, yeah, jumping. I like that song because from the jump, the like I really like there. your voice and sound. So, no, thank you. But that much. that kind of like stood out. Where I was like, "What? You got into an argument?" Oh, yeah, and and that, and that was funny because like that was like my first time experimenting with lines. Like, all right, let me throw this in there and see if I do an interview and mm. see if people question me about it. And this was actually the first one. Really? Yeah. And then no one's, no one's ever really brought that up. Like, uh, I'm that's like, damn, that, that's weird. I said this and no one said- one of the first things I wrote down. Yeah, yeah nah. The yeah, no. And, yeah. and you, I look for people to bring it up. No yeah. one ever brings it up. You yeah. was the first one to bring it up. I'm interested. Right. I watch Love and Hip Hop and like all yeah, that When stuff, he just so brought yeah. that up, I'm like, whoa, he did it. <laughs> yeah. You guys were talking about Prepared, that's more than prepared to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, because usually I have like a slew of notes. Today. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm winging nah, it. No, but other than that, it's dope to see what Coyle Ray's doing. Like, that's that's really yes. like, like, so yes. once when I that like when stuff sound. like that happens, you start to look back, like, damn, I went and really did yeah. that. Like, <laughs> I love her. <laughs> sound. Nah, was, that's dope moments, though. That's funny. That's funny. You really like Coyle Ray shit? And you got, um, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I probably don't, I may not, but with any artist, I don't like everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you may have, <laughs> no, nah, I'm trying sure. to find a way, because at the same time, I do like some of her shit. Like, I do, like, you know what I'm saying? But every artist has, unless you're like my extreme favorite rapper ever, mm -hmm. which is one and then out of a, a th million of them. Right. But unless you're my favorite rapper, even my favorite rapper has shit that I don't like, but right, right. nine times out of 10, most people, even in my own shit, I, I, I don't like all of it, but <laughs> I make stuff that right. like tries to, so much that tries to appeal to everyone, I can pick through my own shit and be like, yo, I don't like this. So is the like majority this. of her stuff do you like? Or? No. Okay. I, I like that new shit she dropped. When she said, uh, you know, RP, my cousin, he buried in Boston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, I mean? but the thing I do like, though, she she's moving with a chip on her shoulder. And I relate to that, like, because that was how I've always been my entire career. It's like, oh, people think this about me? Bet I'm going I'm to still do what I got to do. And, and what's the chip that. on shoulder how? So, like, I catch her rent. Like, I, I keep up with Twitter. what people's Twitter and social Instagram, media antics. Okay. So, like, when I see people, like, 
ranting or whatever, but you're still do you're ranting, but you're still doing your thing while right, you're ranting. Right, 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 I, right. You're just expressing yourself. I can't judge that. That's how you express yourself. You're still doing your job at the end of the day. Right. So I respect that because I do the same thing. When I felt like people from my city weren't respecting what I was doing, I'm on social media ranting, right. but I'm still going to the studio at the end of the night. I'm not sitting at my house pouting. Right. I'm still in the studio. I'm still going to promote it. By the time the next joint, them, next pe them people that were saying shit, eventually I proved you wrong. Right, mm. right. Okay. Cause I, so And I love when people prove me wrong. So if I don't like all her shit and then she continues to work and I become a huge <laughs> fan, those are the people that I like the most. Cause if I didn't, if if I you had to grow on me, that's fire. She that's grew fire. on me, yeah. I, I love her sound. But no parties, I like that joint. Yeah, I, I like that joint. You don't like it? You think she has a sound? Like the tone, her sound, like her. Like her, her, her okay, the sound a tone that is that, hers. Yeah. Okay. It's like that. Um, I don't know, like the auto tune. Quite slash. makes cute music. It's cute. You know what I mean? Is it because she's like? No, like she's cute. You know what I mean? Like she's cute, she's petite, and she's not like, and she's not like scared to like use her little, her little cute sexy. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying like it's cool. You know what I'm saying you sound a little silly, right? <laughs> hey. What people try to right. use is her disadvantages. She makes her advantages. Right. It works. And I and it respect, works for I respect her. that. Right. It works. She for flipped her. it on me. Yeah. I, I like her, her mar how, how she markets herself. Right. Now her sound. Her sound is okay. Okay. Did you I'm, see? It's not trash, right? I okay. wouldn't say it's trash. I wouldn't say no, she sucks, because you know what I mean. No, I wouldn't say that. But it's I, not something you. If you're asking to, me, really. would I do a joint with her? Yeah, I would. If I was a rapper, I would too. Yeah, I would. Right. You know that 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 big purse shit was cool. Yeah. She called me big purse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, she got like, a good sound. That's all. Z might go get wet in that cat while I switch gears. That's my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit was hard. That shit was hard. Um, but nah, shout out to Quilla Ray. You know what yeah. I like about Benzino's kids is that they're not attaching themselves to him yes. Yes. To, to to gain their success, yes. which yes. is cool. That, that's so, really dope. So, so that I, I love that because in in fact they're separating themselves from mm -hmm. him, um, more than anything, which is kind of <laughs> weird. But whatever, that's not my business. <laughs> but um, let's get back into you though, man. <laughs> See Wells, man. Right? Uh, I think to. Talk about your most recent work, right? Mm -hmm. We have to talk about before the, we have to talk about before the tour bus, mm -hmm. which is what dropped in 2017. Yep. Right? Um, do you have any questions on that before I dive in on that? Because I'm gonna I let you seen take it words. because okay, so when I was researching your music, mm -hmm. I saw the recent single um, Goat. Was it Goat? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I love that by the way. Me too. But then I was looking for a project, and then me I too. see. <laughs> 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 Which I want to talk about GOAT too in a moment, but I was looking for like a body of work because I like to like engulf myself mm -hmm. in a bunch of music and I the most recent was GOAT. And so when I was looking next, where's his last album? It was 2017. So no, it was actually... C. Wells dropped in 2019. 19, yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Okay, so that's my fault. I have my to years actually... be fucked up. I know what projects. Got it's it. be like, oh, uh, was it this year? Was it that? I year? gotta go back then because I was like 2017. It's almost like a whole five oh, yeah, years. Yeah, nah, like, nah, okay. Nah, yeah, nah. All right, so I gotta go back. So that's my fault. So scratch whatever I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead though. Sorry. Um, nigga, how the fuck did you get Davies and G Herbo on this shit? Yes. Um, <laughs> like straight up, <laughs> that was one of my questions and, 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 too. And and, 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 and and let me preface this question because G Herbal gave you one of the verses that I don't even like G Herbal. I, don't, I hate his music. You know? I, I fucking hate it. He's saying a lot of shit that I'm. I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, it's, I just don't like his shit. I like his shit that he just did with Bia. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's my mama's Cedar, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying but that in was general, cool. Yeah. It was. It was like a, it was a funny record, mm -hmm. and he's and he's funny like that. So yeah. it worked, right? But. I don't like his shit. Like, I'm not gonna be getting a call with my niggas and be yo, put that G Herbo on. Oh, I bump him every day. I'm not gonna tell niggas. I, I may be look, biasly, but I, I think in my head, unbiasedly, like I, I just, you know, that's fine and yeah. that's great. Everybody can like what they like. Yeah. But for me, hearing you on a song with, with G Herbo and he literally gave you like one of the verses like that I like by him. Yeah, me too. I don't like all his yeah. shit. So like when I, I heard I, that yeah. verse, I was like, yo, this nigga gave him a verse. Yeah. I'll and so that. did Dave East, nigga. But, but yeah, go ahead, yeah, start with the yeah. Yeah. That was because that was actually like one of those like I got to see it while it was. So me coming from Lynn once again, like we were talking about the whole Lynn shit. 
my my homie like i hate to throw him under the bus like this but he's like a he's like a bad like you know he's a great liar like okay. so like my home so coming from lynn like shit like that we <laughs> hey, twist your mic so up shit up like that we like, never really okay. seen before see, you'll see just twist your mic up like, like this way ro- rotate oh. it towards you like like right here like pivot. but you're not talking about pivot. me right oh, no, no, so don't touch my mic all right, yeah, all right. i'm just trying to show him what the fuck but you're hey, i gotta stop. readjust stop. it though stop. this is like right. i had it perfect now like right cut the shit here okay all right <laughs> but yeah, nah, Mercury my, is in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> Moving backwards, Charlie. Come one on. of one of my homies that like he, <laughs> like growing up, like we've known him man, as like a professional liar. Like if he could, if like if he met someone with a million dollars, he could convince that person to give Swindled him a million. Him of, and wow. I've always tried to give him talks like, "Yo, bro, you, like you got special powers. Like you, use bro. these for good. Like, <laughs> well, this was one time." <laughs> This was one time he actually used his powers for good. Like, okay. so one day he just comes to me just to make a long story short. He's like, "Yo, Herb's in my DM." Boo, boo, boo. Wow. I'm like, bro, stop lying. Like, mind you, I come from Lynn. Like, obviously, like Boston sees this shit, but we barely see it here. Like, right, right. I'm coming from Lynn at this right. time. This is 2014, 2015. I'm like, bro, you bullshitting. Like, you, okay. so one day we, I'm driving in my car. He shows me a DM, and bro's really talking to him. Like. Writing him paragraphs, I'm like, why is he explaining himself to you? Right. But I'm like, yo, I right. tell my, tell my, I got a record. For, mind you, I had a record that I just recorded, but for some reason, I didn't have a second verse on it. Mm. But I'm like, yo, tell him I got a verse, for, a joint for him. We go. He ends up doing that. He says, yo, he said he'll do it. Mm. Wow. My like, bro, why are you lying? My, I'm telling him he's lying. So I'm like, oh, until I see something, you, I don't believe nothing you talking about. Right. We at my crib one day. He going on Facetime with. Him. Mind you, I'm a fan of bro, so like all I needed to hear was I heard his voice while he's on FaceTime, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a stick, distinctive voice, like right. that's really him. Right. Mm-hmm. Looked over the phone, it was bro on the phone. I'm like, oh shit, I right, bet yeah, let's. I got the here's the joint, send it to him. Blah, blah, blah. He sends the record. Still a couple of days go by, I'm still thinking bro's bullshit. Right. But he's telling me. He know his schedule. He's like, yo, he's doing the joint with Fetty Wap. He's wow. doing, he's doing, he's doing the joint with Fetty Wap. Then he's gonna do this, and he said he's gonna do your, 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 your joint. I'm like, all right, whatever. Time goes on. I'm paying attention on social media. He's really doing what bro just told me he was gonna do. In I'm like, order. I'm like, oh, okay. That's Bet crazy. time goes on. Fast forward again. He goes, yo, a couple days go by. He goes, yo, let's just go to Chicago. I'm like what he said let's go to chicago me i'm still thinking he's a liar but i'm like whatever you said it you put me in this you put me in this position let's do it Niggas we, say, is this plane even real fast forward Where? does it fly fast forward what? i'll just skip fast everything one of my homies that was part of making it happen or whatever we went on some last moment shit like we didn't even tell him we was leaving he didn't even know we was going we go he calls me around like ohio my man's is like he calls me he's like yo where y'all at I'm like, I'm stuttering on the phone. I'm like, uh, uh, we on our way to Chicago. He's like, yo, I'll call you back. I'm about to look for some flights. He hangs up, calls me back like five to 10 minutes later. Like, yo, I found a flight. I'll be there in X, Y, and Z amount of hours. By the time we get to Chicago, we get in Chicago. He's already outside of the airport wow. waiting for us. G. Herbert. No, my man's. Oh, okay. We're going to scoop him. We get to wherever we need to do to go to the airport. Woo, woo. Fast forward, we get to the studio. I'm still thinking the bullshit. Right. We hop in a taxi, though. The taxi brings us yo, to. Yo, this pivots. Just the taxi yeah. brings us to wherever they bring us at. Yeah. And they're even asking us, like, yo, you sure y'all going here? And I'm looking at my man's because he's like, he lined the shit. He made the shit together. I'm like, I, I, he's like, I don't know. But ironically, I said. I see some white people walk out of building. I'm like, Saxons. This is where we're going. Yo, we good. <laughs> so we walk in the stool and I'm, I'm texting on my phone. I'm paying no mind to what we're doing. What a first impression. I run right into bro. I'm not, but I'm thinking it's a regular person. I would probably like stepped all over his Tim's and some whole other shit. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm thinking nothing of it. I keep walking, but I notice nobody's walking with me. You're like, and y'all, I turn y'all, around y'all. and they already with him. I'm like, wow, Wells. What a first impression. Wow. But long story short, I got a full bite of the apple, like b- with the with the feature, like I really y'all, got y'all to did the joint in the same stool. Yeah, like that. Nice. I watched him do. I watched him do computers. He actually wow. did computers before he did my song. Wow. He did computers. We did my joint. We was kicking it. After we shot the we shot the video right after he did my verse. Like we shot the wow. video. He falls asleep after. I'm thinking from where we from. You fall asleep in the studio. It's time to go home. Right. 
we about to go home. He's confused. We leaving. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know. Like, but we where we from and where they from? That's that's it's just different. Right. But I found that out. That nigga just living the experience studio. in that. Right. But other than that, the following morning, we ended up meeting with whoever who connected my homies with, with Herb, and we ended up getting a tour around Chicago. Wow. After we get the tour around Chicago, I felt like I got the full body of the apple. Like right. I'm like, yo, right. I didn't just do this feature. I understand where they come from. Like right. I'm like, these people right. back home be using their slang, right. doing whatever the fuck they be doing, and don't even understand what a the fuck fraction of right. where they come from. So that was a dope moment. And then, of course, when he came back out here, he did like Smokers Club. He's brought us with him. I like so that. shit like this. So like that, that was a dope experience. But the Davey shit, that was all through Snapchat. Really? Yeah, that was through Snapchat. We, my man's had a connection with him through Snapchat. He told him that I had a record. We actually did that. But like one of my biggest relationships with Critch, like Critch is like really my man's. Like shout out Jay Critch. I, like that's a that's a real homie. Of mine. Yeah, I know he has a lot of ties to Boston. Where's he from originally? His brother has ties to Bo- okay, Boston. Yeah, his, right. yeah, his brother got ties to Boston. But yeah, like that was a relationship that I first like industry relationship I built on my own. Right. And he he see what I be trying to do, and we built the that shit went from there. Like, but that this was song like was that off the porch shift. Off the, sh- off the porch was, was Davies. Porch. With Davies, yeah. Oh, got it. Okay, got it. For the paper was G Herbo. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, you also had G.O.D. on that. On oh, that yeah, joint. that's my dog. Not yeah. for play. Right. Yeah. Um, G.O.D. is like an unsung hero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. like um, I feel like you and him kind of play the same role for the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like for your city and mm-hmm. in Boston. I get Millie's um, a lot. You get Millie's? Yeah, I, I get Millie's a lot. I can see that. Meaning, I can see, I can see that in a sense where it's like, um, Millie's has brought Cambridge to a whole different level. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, there's a lot of niggas in Lynn doing their thing. But right. I'm, no, no, but, most certainly. But like SD Mac. Like if someone asks me, okay, if there's, who do you feel like it, if you had to name someone other than you and Knack's been doing this before me. Right. This is one of my homies right here from the city right. doing his own thing. Like, okay. that's my biggest thing. It's like, yeah, I want to let it be known this more than me. can see his face. He's masked up. Like, I, 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 I got to let it be. I, I, my goal is to let it be. My goal is to let it be known that it's more than me. Like, I don't right. want people to think like, oh, Wells is the only guy in Lynn. Nah, I understand that if people see that there's more of us, then that's how I know right. this shit's going to move much faster. Nice. Is, is Light of Vuitton from Lynn too? Say that again? Light of Vuitton? Oh no, no, nah, light is from, from what's the if whoever people think is from Lynn, they nine times out of ten are from like not. Worcester or like okay. Not that he claim I think he claims Lynn or nah, anything, but just most does. people mistake Worcester people and Lynn are like right there. No, but we the outskirts city, so Got like it. we get grouped in whatever's <laughs> not Boston. Lynn is, but Worcester. Yeah, nah, know. whatever's not Boston pretty much people think like uh, Lynn, Springfield, Worcester. Right, These right, are right, us right, three. Right. I mind you when Millie's did his interview with Breakfast Club. Yeah. People are thinking that all three of us are right near each other. Right. We're, we're sc- so those scattered. three cities alone that he just so named scattered. first are nowhere near each other. You know what's funny about Mass is that Mass is so small, but everything is just, it seems far. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But when you, yeah. when you look at the actual radius, like, like you know what I mean, geographically, it's really it's not really that not, far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In comparison to a lot of other states, states because we're just a very small state. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Um, but, all right, so Lynn, man, like, walk us through Lynn, man. Like, what's... What's some ill shit about Lynn that niggas wouldn't know unless you're from Lynn? Uh, well, they birthed me. That, that's first. Nah, I was playing. This but like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I've been I, I be, I be, I be, I be waiting for shit like this so I can talk my shit. Like, <laughs> but you nah, um, yeah, nah. There's, there's, there's a lot of talent. Like I even like outside of rap, like the sports shit is really dope. Like that's something that motivated me to do the raps because i'm like yo this all these dude, guys here that should have went to the league antonio anderson actually went i mean it was it was a short time ter- short time but he went like okay. but like we it's always been sports and i always felt like that shit like that was overlooked like we've had so much talent no one's ever really was like oh this guy in lynn like you know what i'm saying right, so like right. shit like that was always my motivation mind you i play sports as well okay but you know there's politics in sports right mm-hmm. just like there is the coach, rap. yeah mm-hmm. most certainly but yeah. like coming from where i'm from rap wasn't there was no look there right. was no scene so right. i'm like i i'm not that i'm nice at ball but i'm not the guy in ball right. like you know what i'm saying i i'm gonna let my friends who are nice 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 in ball be right. those guys right. i'm gonna jump in this lane that is wide open right like and I see where it was took. I was seeing where it was taken, and I understood. Okay, it was taken here. If you're gonna jump in this, 
but that's why I love my city and why I do diverse shit too. It's because like my city's a melting pot. Mm. That's another fun fun fact. It's a melting pot. So someone will ask me like, "Yo, what type of music you make?" Well, my city's a melting pot. I make music for everybody. Mm. I have no choice to like because you might catch. Yeah, you might chill over here one day and you're hanging with everybody who likes reggaeton. You might chill with someone over the here. Lawyers, and they, yeah. yeah, like mm-hmm. so it's like What's it's melted. I'm I'm mulatto. My mom's my mom's actually half Sicilian, but everybody else in my family's black. Like okay. so like, okay. like that's how you're yeah. black. Black kid with green eyes, yeah. That I was about to say, that you get your eyes from. <laughs> Do you get a lot of people that ask, like, are those your eyes? Yeah, those all, all the time. But, like, I understand, like, that's my. Oh, my God. If, right. Are those your if real nothing eyes? Else, if nothing else is working, I know the eyes is working. The, <laughs> eyes, the eyes are so exotic. <laughs> Does that bother you? Or nope, you that like, shit gets me out of a lot of trouble. Okay, good, yeah. Yeah. If your eyes were darker, you probably, yeah. It'd be slow for me. Yep. <laughs> okay. What's, all right. Late night in Lynn. It's 1 30. You want some food. Where do you go? Oh, help me ease. Nowhere? Look, I. <laughs> oh, he said, I. Well, we don't. They don't got shit that open. I'm going to say George's. We to George's. George's? Late night? Yeah. That's the only thing that's supplying us late night. There's no like Chimmy trucks and shit like that? Nah. In nah, Lynn? Nah. There's no Dominicans out there? In Lynn? There's no bing, 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 nah. bing, bing, bing. Nah, there's none of that. <laughs> Oh, I mean, everybody swears they like green tea too. I mean, I've 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 was raised off that shit, so like I got a different opinion. But everybody that comes to Lynn loves green tea. Okay, okay, okay. But you see, you see, you, you see. I see, I see a lot of, I see a lot of, uh, 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 <laughs> drop Honda Civics. Yeah, <laughs> Lynn. Sounds about right. You know what I'm is that that's that's the, that's that's the, that's the uh that's the dodging potholes bounce right there? Oh, hold on, you gotta do it like this because they shifted. They shifted. Look, he do it so perfectly because look, that's what he used to do. Crazy. He used to have one at my high school. Wasn't dropped. He my used to have one, dropped. not that bad, but my you shit used was, to dodge. My shit was hard. My and shit you was, was hard. bouncing like that. I remember. And I was a Nissan. It wasn't a Honda. Shut up, on a Honda. Right? Potholes are crazy in Lynn. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Yeah, Lynn, like the part that I've been—I don't know how big Lynn is, but it's small. entering with that little—is that like a bridge with the water or whatever that is? Okay, that's kind of uh, looks like the, the slums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. does it all looks of very Lynn? poor? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does, and that's, I'm trying to choose my words wisely. Does all of Lynn look like that? It's like poverty. Nah. Right okay. <laughs> nah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, it does because I don't go to Lynn, but when I did, I was like, I'm never coming back over here. There's I'm, nothing for me. I was just going to Walmart, by the way, because <laughs> they had Lynn what I needed. Is legit one of the most depressing places on earth. Yeah, it was like gray. Yeah, yeah it's and, just. It looks like just. Yeah. An industrial it was like park. sunny over here, right. and as soon as you nah, cross what you the mean? Lindway, we all, it was like a cloud. All, I, the only reason why I agree with that though is because no, actually. Because I've been there as long as I've been there, right? But I know people that come there and love the shit, and I'd be like, "What you like about here? <laughs> right. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make it out of here." Uh, like, yeah. like, but, but people like that shit okay. though. But but that, that plays a big role is the diversity and the right. different places, the dis- different choices to eat. Like right. now, there's like the murals and shit. Like so, like it's drawing the it, what we Thank call you. gentrification, but like. I don't know. People like Lynn. Then there's okay. that whole Lynn, Lynn, City of Sin saying that I that follows me everywhere. I can go to California and I'll be hesitant to say Lynn, thinking no, I'm well, a City of Sin. My ha! initial, my gotcha. yeah, my initial <laughs> response would be like, should I tell him, Boston? Nah, I, I rep this Lynn shit to the fullest. So let me tell him. You Lynn. really do. And I say Lynn, and they'd be like, Lynn, Lynn, the City of Sin, and I'd be bugged the fuck out because I'm thousands of miles away from home, was thinking that no one knows what this shit is, and they be knowing. It, was that in the song or something? I guess it's like a. Poem or something like a, I, 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 I have to <laughs> Google poem. it to, to, to say it to you. Where I would have to go, I don't know. Said a poem. But like, <laughs> I paid no mind to it growing up. But like, everywhere I would go, I would like nonchalantly tell someone I was from Lynn, and they would spit that at me. Wow! And I would be really amused because I I have the impression that I'm gonna say Lynn, and niggas don't know where the fuck that's at. That's interesting. Um, I think you said in one, maybe a few of your songs, you said oh, you're the I'm king a, of the city. Yeah, and that's, that's how I feel. Lynn, so you feel like you're the king of yeah. the city of Lynn. Yeah, I, I own that. Because, like, I, 
I f- shit, I f- of the world, honestly. But nah, but because knowing I come from where I come from and music wasn't really accepted, mm-hmm. like before I started, and there wasn't a lot of rappers. So I understood my market before I jumped in it. I understood that rap was a sacrifice before I jumped in it. I most people I know most people don't even go into it with that mindset. So I right. already know what I'm accepting before I even know how this works. Mm-hmm. I already knew that I was gonna outdo everybody. Then I already was taking criticism not the wrong way. Mm-hmm. People would shoot spitting shit at me and some one of my homies would be like, Yo, how you feel about that, Wells? And I'd be like, nah, watch my next song. Like, you know what I'm like saying? That. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to use this to build what I got to do. Over time, you're not going to tell me I, I, I'm wrong. So over time, like, I, of course, you get your opinion from right. people. They tell you whatever, you know. But then when you know what you know and you do what you do for the reasons that you do, because mm-hmm. my purpose is bigger than me. It's always been bigger than me. That's why I'm, I claim shit like that. Cause like not everybody has that purpose. Mm. Y'all, t- y'all just said it. Right. I know Lynn through your music. Yeah. That was my goal. So like when I'm achieving shit like that and it's getting to y'all, mm-hmm. right. I already won in my head. Right. Yeah, you did. Cause they're when he put me mur- onto your music, he they're, said it's from Lynn. They're talking murals in my <laughs> city now. Right. Yeah. There was no scene before I started. Yeah. Right. You're allowed to talk murals now because of what I've done. And I've never talked like, like that, that in my pre-stages, but it's like I know what I've, I I know who I am, my worth, and what I bring to the table at this point. So it's I like, like that. you gotta have the yeah, resilience. I'm standing on it. That's why I dropped goat. It was like okay, this conversation I had enough. Mm. I mm. like goat. Um, at the top of that song, you said you were um, came out of quarantine and you were going through it. Um, did you have COVID? No. <laughs> okay. Hello. But those are my. <laughs> Those are my some. Those are some of my favorite bars because I don't give my audience the chance to hear me rap for my stomach. And that was one time that I took it back to my times that I was fourteen mm-hmm. years old, hungry to do this, and literally rapping from my stomach. And and I was explaining to that to my bro earlier. I'm like, that was one joint. Like I'm back to rapping from my stomach. Like I'm not gonna bullshit y'all no more. Like now it's like, ah, right, you 28. How much time you got? But I, it, it sounds bad. To say that, I know, because people correct me every time I say that. But As far as, nah, like, life here on this, but, it's, but, no, it's, it depends on their perception of it. The, but, yeah. these, but, these yeah. short, but these milestones that you guys name add more sand to the time. Every time, I got to turn it over every time I do something that proves myself wrong. Oh, oh, Wells, you thought you was about to be, oh, turn it around. Like, you mm. know what I'm saying? So that's why I like that I set that standard to myself. Like, oh, you don't do this by then? You got to pack it up. But I, by the time I said that, the next 48 hours, I did something that has more sense to the time. I love that. I love that. Um, I I want to talk about... I literally just had it on the tip of my tongue and I forgot already. It's the Adderall. Like, you need to just stop. Yo, you got to chill. Or maybe it was I'm the vaccine. Even, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. I had a phase with those. I'm just, you could read a book in a day with, the, wow. with Adderall. <laughs> wow. Like my birthday was yesterday. Why if you, you read a book in a day, tell I might um, try. Have you ever done that <laughs> off Adderall? You ever read a book in a day? Nah. <laughs> I booked my first show in Middle East off Adderall. Really? Yeah. I, before that, I couldn't get them to book me for a show. <laughs> Middle East, huh? I was in high school too. I was in Leeds. I, I'm like, uh, one of my, I meet, I meet one of my homies. I, I, I take the Adderall, or whatever. I'm up till three, four in the morning. So, like, what? Really so, quick wait before, a minute. like, what is it? Really it do just, it just it just gives you focus on whatever it is. Yeah, you're locked in. You're doing. Can you get a bad pit like bad? Oh, yeah, I don't like the. I didn't like the 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 after effect. Like okay. my stomach hurting and shit. So I so there's like, like a coming down. Yeah, I don't know now because I'm it's 2021 now. So who the fuck knows? But I, this is like after set. effect. I, I typically be hungover, so like, I think it's just yeah. a hangover. Yeah. So I don't really know. Yeah. I'm scared. But anyway, well, okay. enough right. about that. Okay. But, yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I lost my train of thought once fucking again because y'all, y'all, y'all threw me it's off. Bad um, yeah. No, it's not even that. Um, what the hell was I getting at? Um, oh, I was speaking to Noble. Oh, oh yeah, man, that's Noble, my guy, my brother Noble. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my uh, guy. Museum TV, shout out to Noble in the Museum TV. Um, and he said that the C and well and C Wells was consistent. Consistent. consistent I love that. Wells. Yeah, right. now nah, that's facts. Um, but as of late, I feel like you ha- you haven't been as consistent as you have. Oh, I love that. Right. Mm-hmm. What what's the reason behind that? Um, I packaging was- package packaging up the product much differently. All right, so I actually I'll go deep much deeper. Last year I felt like packing this shit up. 
Why? Because um, 2019, I was doing the things that we were just talking about. Like, I'm running around with Chris, and I'm doing, we're hosting damn near every club together. We're on tour together, damn near. And I felt like I was, on my end, like, nothing had to do with him. I felt like I was carrying a lot. Mm. So I'm doing all this great shit that I should be happy about, but I wasn't enjoying it. Mm. So one of my last things that happened is I, I think in your music. That yeah, I I, just, I wasn't I wasn't enjoying it. Like I was doing a lot of great shit that I should have been happy about, and I just wasn't happy. But and then like one of the last moves was like I was supposed to have my first headline show, and that was the first day of COVID. Wow. So like that was like the last straw for me. I had the crazy rollout. Like my I haven't been on Item Live, the newspaper in my city since like wow. 2010. I did the newspaper for that. Like I was front cover, had this big ass rollout for my project, and then COVID happened. I'm like, yo, that that was one of the straws. Like, yo, Wells, I can't like not that like it broke me, but like I just didn't like the feeling. I'm like, yo, you gonna keep doing this and why you're not having fun no more? Mm. So I'm like, yo, fuck this. I went full on fashion shit. The merch shit, I love it. Like yeah. I was like, yo, you bless us with some merch yeah, too, right? I, yeah. That that shit changed my life. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like that was like, I right. for the it people was, who don't know what it is, explain it to them. Take live famous, one. like, and most people here live famous and think like, oh, I gotta be famous. Like, nah. If if you're if you're a good doctor, you need to get your flowers for being a good doctor. Like, right. you don't gotta be on TV to 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 live famous. Be known for what you do. That's what this is. Yeah. Okay, got it. So is the heart like the life, and then the famous Correct. is the crown. Yeah, correct. Got it. And that's something I created like my I freshman like year of high school. I was dabbling in the merch, and I didn't really see much in it. But when I'm feeling like how I'm feeling with the music, I'm like, yo, you need to find something that's find something else. If it takes you back to this, I was, I was doing that. Merch was going phenomenal last mm. year. Like mm. I've seen the most merch sales I've ever seen in my life. Nice. And I mind you, I'm in my mind that I'm not doing rap no more. Right. I took a trip to Cali, and I link replay. That's one of my yo, shout I, out I, replay. Yo, I love that guy. That's one of my favorite friends. Like that's because my guy. like. Uh, just linking him and I'm in, he didn't even know I wasn't on no I was on some I'm not doing the rap shit no more just linking him it snapped me right back in oh yeah this is why you do this shit oh you, you like this Cali shit right, right Wells right. oh yeah this, right. this is why you do this right. so I, one, next day I'm shooting a video to some to a song I've been holding for like three years but oh and that was Can't Stop Won't Stop okay. one of the records that I released that was like the joint I released that got me back into doing this shit so to further explain like the consistency that was that was why but oh the music that I got now I'm ready so that can't stop won't stop was like you saying that let me get out this funk yes I'm gonna tell you like this I didn't care for C Wells right the album like the 2019 right. joint I, it was in a bad space yes because I was making I wasn't making music for me I felt like I had to appeal to an audience that wasn't my right. original audience. Right. Like, so I, I, I definitely understand that. So, and I was just more like, okay, because you, you got better at songwriting. Right. Right? Like, you, you, you figured that out. Mm -hmm. you, you tapped into that. Okay, I have a formula now, right? Right. So you figured out the, 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 the songwriting aspect of it, but... It just didn't sound as exciting right. as before the tour. No, nah, I definitely understand because I was yeah. trying to tap into something that I've never done before, but which is why I'm back to the rap, -y -rap shit because it's right. like, yo, this is what your core audience wants from you. Right. You rapping. That's what goes back to the rapping from the stomach. I'm like, right. they know you from rapping from your stomach. You have yeah. to... Just rap your fucking yeah, face Yeah, like, off. that's it. If you, Of course, you got to you gotta compromise sometimes and do the singy joints, the catchy joints that right. people don't fuck with. Yeah, but, radio hits. But... That was my thing too. I wanted to master that. So when I go to sprinkle that in these joints that I'm doing the rapidy rap joints on, it don't sound foreign. Right. It's like, oh, okay, I see why he went and did this. Like he's still sprinkling old shit that he that he's showing that he's capable of doing. Mm -hmm. But ideally, I'd rather rap. I hear that. I like that. I hear that. Nelly, what else you got? I got a gift. Oh, I yeah? actually if you like sweet up, I got punch pies. I usually do this at the beginning, but I give gifts to everyone. This comes with a price. Oh, what's that? So you got to follow my page. Oh, yeah. What is, what's the gram? Punch Pie is on Instagram. I got... Blame Charlie because I should... Oh, my Instagram is... Blame my Charlie. phone died. You got yeah. kicked out of Instagram? He's supposed to make sure I know everybody that's... Look at him. Look at him. Well, blame me. 
<laughs> I can I can well, vouch for myself. Me, right? That's for you. That's a cherry cheesecake. Please follow my page. Like a, whatever you want to do. That I is get, for you. My phone I think, am I already? I thought I already followed you. All right, I'll follow I, you. I but, um, Instagram is bad. That's I'm for bad you. I brought, I brought a gift for you as well. Say less. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I don't much. have much else except for I did want to talk about. I mean, we were talking about Lynn and how it looks and all of that. But yeah. did you see online where Ari um, bought her man Moneybag Yo twenty eight acres? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty eight <laughs> acres of land. <laughs> what do you think um, of, about that? What do I think of it? Like if if your wife, <laughs> I'd be lit. <laughs> I'd be lit. Um, right, I'd, they're not I'd, married. But that's not the point. I mean, look, it, it's like when when you're with someone, uh-huh. let it let it be your wife, let it be your your, your significant other, whatever. It doesn't matter what what it is. If somebody you're dealing with for a very long time and they want to give you a really good gift like that, mm-hmm. take it and say thank you, because that's land, right? That you could do a lot on. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that was ill. I don't really care for them. Um, as far as like together couple, or like yeah, I don't look. I don't get into like celebrities, the- like relationships and shit. Like you know what I mean? Like that shit is. I don't care. Like, right. I really don't give a fuck. I love Money Bag Yo's music. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. I still don't know what the fuck Ari Fletcher does. She got a fat old ass. I like to look at it. That's about it. <laughs> Is that a gift you would accept? So, so, so you feel like that was his money? No, I think I feel like it was cool, and let's let's just let it be cool and stop talking about it. Yeah. Right. It's their, it's their thing. Like, what, what were you getting with, with at that? With, you know what I mean? I just brought it up when we was talking. I, I just thought about Lynn and the land and right. how it looked and it's then like her Matt buying. There's like land over there, though. Yeah. yeah she yeah, yeah, 28 land of Marshall. Right. She you, bought him 28 acres. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to ask him, like, is that a gift that you would accept from a woman? What, some, what, some Lynn property? Or yeah, that's and and if so, what would you do? Yeah, with it? like oh, like what? Shit, I would do that on my own. Like like ownership is like one of my biggest things. Mm-hmm. Like, would I want to own some shit in my city? Hell yeah. Okay. Would I, a gift that would be fire. Okay. Like that would definitely be fire. What would you do with it? Gift. Yeah. It don't matter a, how you slice it and dice. Yeah. That's a fire. It is a dope gift. gift, but like, what would you? You can't. That's a gift, and then it's just like I'm just sitting on this land. What would you do with it? Oh. Shit, like definitely what's already going on in Lynn. They've built it probably I'm jumping in it. I'm jumping in the game. I'm seeing what's working. I'm jumping in what they doing. When okay. you have land, the best thing for you to do is build up. Yes, absolutely. Whatever, whatever permits absolutely. would allow you to build the highest, yeah. build the well, highest. There's a business that's gonna bring in some income. Condos, just, yeah. You have re- fucking commercial space on the on the right, bottom. Right. And then apartments on the top they go as high feeling, as you fucking can. Right, absolutely. They got me feeling left out right if now because everybody's floors, building everything on everything in Lynn. Yeah, build seven and see if it sticks. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't, just shut down one of the floors, my nigga. You heard? But that's it's it's a money it's a money grab. Okay. And for her to do that for him, I think that's ill. Um, I wish you know what I mean. That'll day. be this. My birthday was yesterday. I didn't get no acres or nothing. But oh, know, happy birthday! Now I'm playing. I, I did get some ill ass gifts from my wife. Shout out my wife, Amy Machine, dog. Thank you, babe. I love you. Um, but oh, so you're a Virgo. I'm a Libra. Libra. I'm wait, a late wait, September, wait, 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 wait. Damn, September. my timing late is September. bad. Late September. Virgo's right before Libra. Yeah. Right, but I don't. Yeah. De- I don't be knowing what. It day. doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Remember, uh, he's not into the stars. I'm not into the, the stars. He don't even look, care. I wasn't, but I smoke a lot of weed, like she was saying. I'm earlier. telling you, tap into That's it. Read like, books about. I got it. How'd you know that? I used to smoke. Okay. Uh, the Mercury Renegade. Okay. Um, <laughs> Merch. This nigga say, you want some cash shit today? <laughs> he said, do the little gunshot thing. <laughs> but the one with the paw. <laughs> he said, Mercury Renegade. Bye. In the show right now. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter. Mercury Retrograde. It's okay. Retrograde. Yep. Get it right. C. Wells. <laughs> You have the floor, my guy. This is your opportunity to talk your shit. Anything you want to come up here and talk about? Shit, I, I, I'm really. Do you want me to wrap my 32 bars? I really can't. Oh, he's for that. ready. But like, the, he's the, ready. The questions like I, that, that's dope because I really love the fact that y'all really did your research. That Joe but um, the Joe Button, the Benzino yeah. question with that shit was definitely fire. Cause I never really. <laughs> I'm glad. But I'm yeah, glad. nah, it's it's, something that's definitely fire. Like yo, I, I bring people like him around, like. Just so, Word. like, I'm I'm gonna I'm do my job regardless whether I'm gonna bring me, I'm gonna bring the city with me. That's definitely something that, like, I wanted 
people to forever remember about me if there was if there's anything is that like you like you said like my yeah. niggas even if it's not it's like Lynn in general like mm-hmm. you, you doing something that's trying to push the city like even Massachusetts like it's, it's bigger than big me MAs in general yeah. but yeah so but yeah Lynn is definitely like bigger than the biggest thing that we pushing over here Okay. I like, I like that. that. I thought nothing of Lynn until now. So wow. kudos to you. No, no bullshit. I, I, I'm not I even lying. I de- and that was how I felt. People yeah. felt growing up. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, people don't no, know. No, seriously. Know what I had a family is. member in Lynn that was it, and Cash goes went home to Lynn since he moved. But besides I, that, was that so now we, you know, I'm like, I had yeah. no idea. So, so now you're from yeah. the West Side. Yeah. Oh uh, hell yeah. Okay. West Side, the best side. Great. Right East. I, I wouldn't even know <laughs> north, Nothing. south, east, west. I wouldn't know nothing about you that. You don't even go there. But all I know is that you talk about the west side a lot in your music. Uh, yeah, and because yeah. of that. I got to go out to Lynn. You got to, like, give me a tour of Lynn, man. Yeah. Nah, you know that's, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll go out there and we, we could do some Lynn shit. You know yeah, nah, for sure. All right, man. But, um, Smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get into some bars. <laughs> uh, let's do it. You got a beat for me? My man got some bars. Oh, We're going we to we figure the beat out, man. But let's wrap this up. Let's bring this in for a landing. <clears throat> this was CWTFB Radio, episode 91. I am Charlie Machine, right next to High Yellow Nella, Chanel Shante, the hostess. With the new High Yellow hat. I love this. One of my closest. Yes. Yeah, you know I mean, live famous. We had the most famous C. Wells <laughs> from Lynn Lynn City of Sin in the Wells. building, man. We love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Till next week, man. We out. Bye.